Twitter, Big Dave wants to hey, know something. Big Dave. Yeah, he says, what are your thoughts on trade veto etiquette? Mm. I've seen three trades vetoed in our league for reasons such as I didn't want so-and-so's team to be good or I veto all trades. Personally, I feel the veto is ex- is for extreme collusion. What say you all, says at Big Dave Philly. They don't call you Big Dave for nothing, okay? <laughs> Big Dave's got it right here. It's for c- collusion. Did they call him Big Dave because of his veto takes? No, yeah, because, look, <laughs> you know, when you're better. It's big of you, Dave. Yeah, exactly. Look, Big Dave is right. Trades are for collusion only. I like that. Trades says, are for collusion. Or, uh, vetoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, trades are only. I don't to be trade made. often, but when I do, I it's, collu- <laughs> it's for collusion. Uh, yeah, the veto should not be used unless uh, something nefarious just, is going the, on. No veto, just vetoes. Turn them off. They're archaic. It, like fantasy football was a different place ten years ago. We we have moved past that. If you're playing trade, a, trade yeah. should be instantaneous. There should not be a two oh, day waiting period. Yes. A tr- if if two people agree on a trade, boom, it's, it's, it's done. It's done. They they have agreed that this is a good you trade for both parties. You don't need to have them pass a physical before they can be <laughs> on your roster. It's fantasy. Here's what we're not saying. We're not saying you don't stop collusion. We're saying the mechanism by which. You think you need to stop it is archaic. Yes. Which is if two teams collude, first of all, get them out your league. Yeah. But if you can't, you know, you might not have the luxury at that moment. The commissioner can then, you know, fix or you can discuss that as a group. You don't have to have a formalized veto system to control that. It hurts me to hear I don't want so and so's team to be good. That's why. What's the point Dude, of a trade? It's are, to make your team good. There are so many trades that happen in our league. And I hate every single one because I usually think someone won. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll, you make a trade with someone and I go, oh, dang it. I'm so upset because one team got better, in my opinion, on that trade. And I don't like it. But I would never, ever, ever say, so you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention that trade might very well go the complete opposite direction. We've seen that over you know, almost 15 years of playing. Mm-hmm. You think you steal a player. We looked back at a dynasty trade yesterday. Oh man! Did you see that, Mike? My uh, when I unloaded Gurley oh, this off Gurley season. Trade? Yes. Yeah, that trade now seems bad. <laughs> yeah, but that. I sent uh, Todd Gurley away in a dynasty league for Dalvin Cook, a first rounder and two second rounders, and uh, and two players, Robbie Anderson and Robbie Anderson. So at yeah. the time, that seemed like a fair trade. That was at right time- before the knee news. With the, Gurley. Yeah, I mean, it was just the doubt was there from the playoffs. Oh. But but trades can go sideways. Tra- that Nobody, when that went through, thought I stole Dalvin Cook or thought that Gurley was, you know, some people were mad Gurley got moved to that team. And so my, it just changes. Yeah, my, my infamous D. Johnson trade, <laughs> you know, where I uh, got Duke Johnson. <laughs> Looks like I got the better D. Johnson. Lucky. Oh, hey, wasn't expecting you. Thanks for watching the video. You should check out the long form, the hour. Check it out. Subscribe to the Fantasy Footballers channel.